thanks for sticking with us. And we at Humble ISD are lucky to have the Jason Project, which is sponsored by Chevron Houston at all of our middle school campuses. Through Jason Learning, our classrooms are exposed to real life, hands-on uh, curriculum, STEM curriculum, science, technology, engineering, math, that exposes our students to just wonderful things. Um, and through Jason Learning, two of our very own in Humble ISD were chosen as one of 11 educators and students from across the nation to be Jason Argonauts. Um, basically, they got whisked away to the Bahamas and got to work alongside real life scientists. A tough job. Tough job. Yep. Sounds tough, guy. Um, here today to talk about this are Greg Hensley. Welcome, Greg. Greg is a Creekwood Middle School science teacher. And we have Marshall Hartung, who is currently a sophomore at Kingwood High School. Welcome to both of you. Okay, Argonaut, strange word. Can one of you tell me what is an Argonaut? Well, the Argonauts, they were, uh, it's a legend in Greek mythology about these people that went sailing. And they went and they discovered science and they did all this great amazing things for the Greeks. Okay. And the Argonauts started with Robert Ballard. And he was the person who discovered the Titanic. Okay. And he wanted to bring science to kids in the classroom in a better way that helped them learn and facilitated their learning experience. And so they put on this program called the Jason Argonauts, and every year they send a group of kids to different places to go and learn about science. Very exciting. And Greg, you guys got to go to the Bahamas. <laughs> yeah, it was a real drag. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really need to start working on this program so that there's a superintendent component. I was going to say <laughs> that you're allowed to tag along. We, we thought right. about you while we were there. Well, thanks, Greg. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But in all seriousness, tell me about your experience, you know, your perspective of, of on that um, that adventure, really getting to work side by side with some of the world's leading scientists. Well, it was cool because there was uh, the the island was just full of interns uh, from from colleges, uh, literally across the world, and uh, all uh, you know, just a young, fit people in shape, plus uh, the brain component. So I mean, it, it, uh, they were just living examples, kind of, of what you know you hope your students can can become. Because I mean, they were just hands on out there doing it and Greg you got yeah. to do be a part of some research we, projects we, we all did yes uh, and uh, what was your favorite oh well, my favorite is when we uh, we went out to, uh, on a boat into the deep sea and we were going and we were gonna get isopods which are these giant underwater roly-polies basically <laughs> and <laughs> when we were out there we were on the boat and we went out and decided to go swimming and it was amazing it was this, this amazing blue color everywhere you could see no fish no nothing and we went out there and the boat it basically parts of it froze and so we couldn't it stopped working and we couldn't bring them back up but it taught us this this great lesson that you know science is this thing that it's it's alive you know you can't predict what's going to happen and every day is a different different experience Excellent. sometimes yeah. things don't go according to plan do they <laughs> no <laughs> you have to improvise yeah the, and these these kids that were out there were super adaptable every time something you know changed everybody just figured out a new plan and, and you know these kids were ranging from 13 to how do you 15 and uh, they really came out of their shell that is so awesome. It's, it's so very interesting and for our viewers out there and people that are just now hearing about this. So if they're interested in doing the same thing, how do you apply? Well, it's a, it's a pretty involved process. We had to, uh, in fact, fact, the student and the uh, teacher applicant go through pretty much the same process. There's several essays that have to be written. Uh, you have to produce a video of yourself explaining you know, why you would be a, a good candidate for it. And, uh, you know, one of the stipulations is, you know, uh, they're, they're looking for people that aren't shy in front of a camera for one reason or another. And so I guess we qualified. <laughs> And, Marshall uh, is a veteran in that. Yeah. I was going to say, Marshall's been on the show yeah. before. Rumor has it. <laughs> this is number four. Wow. Yeah. wow. That's a record. That's yeah. absolutely a record. It's got to be. <laughs> so it's a pretty in uh, lengthy application process. R right. It okay. took probably a week to put it all together, including the video. And, and I love making videos, so I, I just really you know, super edited mine. And yeah, I guess it worked. <laughs> Marshall, I'm curious. So as you think about your future, mm -hmm. And obviously, you've had some amazing experiences to date. But um, but when you think down the road about yourself, what you have a vision of what you see yourself maybe doing? 
I, I'm not exactly sure, but I know it'll be something in the sciences. Okay. I'm kind of debating on medicine or geology. Mm. Yes. Awesome. So not not going back out in the middle of the ocean and having everything freeze <laughs> on. <you>. No. <laughs> Actually, I'm with you. I. I'm not certain about that. So, <laughs> Greg, this is the third year this program has been in your classroom, is that correct? Yes, yeah, okay. they're, they're, we're starting the third year. You're starting yes. the third year. Okay, so how has it impacted uh, your classroom? Well, it's it hands-on, I guess, would be the, the operative word. And, and, you know, I've been doing this for about six years now, and I've been seeking ways to get my kids out of the classroom, and so that objective is being accomplished through this and I have some goals in mind in, in, even in the local community there in Kingwood uh, some projects that I hope to take on and, and I went on this trip to learn how mm -hmm. to take this out into in, into the local community in other words out of the classroom and actually make a contribution where you live rather than only studying it we want to we want to do something with it and change something well, and that's what learning really yeah. is all about, okay. um, and yeah. and it, the fact that you can make it hands-on and apply to, to real-world experiences is great. And you know, just like Marshall getting out there, I mean, really, it gives these kids a background knowledge of, of what my future will hold and what do I like and where do I see myself. So so kudos to you for implementing it in the classroom, and and thanks to Chevron. Wow, what a great program! And we at Umble ISD are lucky to have the Jason projects in our schools. So um, I hate to say this, guys, they're waving us on. And for our audience, uh, please stick with us, Guy, and I will be right back.